Hi, this is our eighth Safer at Home video. When we talk about grief, it can be helpful to talk about the styles in which people grieve. When we understand the style in which we grieve and understand the style our significant other and or other family members grieve, it can be very helpful. Knowing each other's styles can help us understand why others around us are reacting and acting the way they are, help us understand how we may support them better, help us communicate, and help us understand what we may need. The two styles of grievers are intuitive and instrumental. The intuitive griever tends to experience their grief as waves of emotions. They focus on their emotions and what they're feeling, which means they focus on exploring and processing their emotions rather than thinking about their emotions. They like to talk about and express their grief and what they're feeling. The intuitive griever might cry a lot, want to talk about their grief and their feelings a lot, journal, etc. The instrumental griever tends to experience their grief physically and cognitively. They like to think about their grief rather than focusing on their emotions. They are action oriented when it comes to expressing their grief which means they express their grief physically, cognitively, or behaviorally. The instrumental griever might throw themselves into work, exercise, build something, start a, fund a fundraiser, etc. Both of these styles of grieving are healthy. Most of us are some combination of intuitive and instrumental, but tend to lean heavier in one direction. In general, Women tend to be more intuitive grievers and men tend to be more instrumental grievers, but that's not always the case. I happen to be an instrumental griever and my husband happens to be an intuitive griever. Knowing if you're an instrumental griever or intuitive griever and what those around you are can be very helpful because often significant others and other family members are a different style than you are. If this is the case, it can cause conflict. The intuitive griever might think their spouse is not grieving because they don't want to talk about their emotions and jumped right back into work. The instrumental griever might think that their spouse is not grieving in a healthy way because all they do is cry and want to talk about their grief. But if you understand there are different ways to grieve, this can open up communication as you're able to better understand what the other person might be experiencing be able to support them in a way that they find helpful, as well as express what you may need. Thanks for listening.